I'm from Tooele, Utah, a little town out in the middle of nowhere. And the town I grew up in was 90% of a religion which me and my family were not a part of. I was raised in a non-religious home. Uh, my father was an agnostic and was a scientist. We were kind of the anti-religious family. We did the things that in that community were not, were frowned upon. I had a belief in God deep down. I wanted, I, I felt like there had to be a God, but honestly, I didn't know how I could even know him. And what I saw, what I perceived it, out in my world, it meant to know him. I, I just, no, I didn't like that. I felt very judged and outside of that community. And with a big hole in my heart, because I was really trying to deep down figure out who am I and why am I here. It was during the first week uh, at the university that I came across a group of people that were surveying first-year students. They gave me a survey, and in the survey it said, would you ever be interested in talking to someone about spiritual things? And not thinking about it, I said, maybe. Well, sometime later, uh, a couple people came and followed up with me, and it hit me like, this makes a lot of sense. I had wanted, I thought there was a God. I knew I was separated and sinful. I had no problem with that. But the fact that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins was a new teaching for me. And I actually invited Jesus to come into my life, to forgive my sins, and to reestablish my connection with God. And one of the first things that I wanted to do was to tell my mom and dad what had happened. And I can remember the first time calling my parents and saying, Dad, you've got to become a Christian. I've just become a Christian. And of course, uh, that didn't go real well, that conversation. And actually what ended up happening over the next two years my father and my mother and I, when I would go back home for a break, would end up in just endless conversations slash arguments. I had all the zeal of a 19-year-old recent convert to Jesus, but not a lot of tact. Over the time, um, I would also bring my Christian friends home with me to ski in the, in the state of Utah, but really to be around my parents. And it was at Thanksgiving, my second year in college, when I came home and my father said uh, to me, he said, son, I'd like to go to church. And I said, let's go. That's awesome. Absolutely. He picked out a church and in the, this, sur this church had a service for people to just stand up and say something they were thankful for. And my father uh, stood up and I had never in my life seen him cry ever once tears streaming down his face. He said, I want to thank God for using some college students to lead me to Christ. I've become a Christian. And my dad's life turned around 180 degrees. My mother committed her life to Christ. And so uh, right before my eyes, seeing God work in my parents' lives, was amazing. My sister had run away from home when she was 16. Uh, a couple years after uh, my father had come to Christ, she actually came back home. Uh, she was pregnant, had her bo boyfriend in tow, and my father, when they came back in, led them both to Christ. They ended up getting married, and uh, four kids later, uh, still hanging in there in their faith. I think for our family, the reality of Christ as the one who gives life has become the single most definitive thing that has been true about us and the grace of God and the mercy of God. So we have seen the Lord transform 
our lives and our whole family's life. And that is a lot of the motivation that drives what I do to this day. God could change me. God could change my parents. And he can change anybody and make a difference in their lives.